Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we are going to set up our environment on Google Cloud using their data proc. So in this, there will be three steps that will be required. First of all, you have to sign up on the Google Cloud using your Gmail account. The second thing is you, we have to create a project and under that we will create our data proc cluster. So let's get started. It will be a very simple process and will not take much time. So open up your browser, type cloud.google.com and after going to that, you will see a get started for free button in the right hand side corner. So click on this get started for free button. In the next screen, you will be prompted to add your Gmail account credential. So I will use my Gmail account here. Then you have to provide the password for your Gmail account. On the very next screen, you have to choose your country and you have to accept the terms of service. So I say I agree to all the terms and conditions and then we'll press continue. So on the right hand side, you can see this information like Google Cloud provides 300 credit for free for the next three months. So you can make use of this 300 credit and you can start using all the Google Cloud services for free. Okay, so I'll press continue here. And in the next very step, you have to provide your information like whether you are an individual, name, your address, your city, etc. Your phone number is also an optional field. And then in the last, you have to provide your card information. So it's a very simple sign up process. Just provide all this information and say start my free trial. So after you fill all of your information, you will see this screen. So just press on continue here and a new screen will open up where you will be charged a very small amount from your card. I, I am charged one rupees from my card that I have entered and my transaction is done. So my sign up process on Google Cloud is now completed. Let's go to the second step where we have to create a project. To create your project on the Google Cloud, just click on this button and in here just say new project. Give the name to your project. Let's say in this case I am saying big data cluster, big data project. Okay, just say create from here. So my project is now created. Let me refresh this Google Cloud to see my projects in the project list. So again, click on this button and select this big data project from here. So my second step is also completed. In the third step, I have to create my data proc cluster. After selecting your project, go to this navigation menu on the left hand side, click on here, scroll down and under the big data, you will see data proc here. So click on this clusters. And in here, you have to say create cluster. So on this screen, you have to give the name to your cluster. I'm giving the cluster name as big data. Then you have to choose your cluster type. It could be one master, multiple workers, one master, zero workers or three master, multiple workers. But for our purpose, we are going with only one master and zero worker because that will be sufficient for all our use cases. Then go down in the image in this particular versioning and image you have to change your image so select change here we have to use this particular 1.5 because we wanted to run all our solution on spark 2.4 so select this image so click on select in this next tab in this next section just enable the component gateways so in the next tab you can like change the configurations uh, there is a 500 GB primary disk that has been allocated and I think that is too much. You can change that to 100 GB and also make sure that you change your machine type to N1 standard 8 that has 8 core CPU and 30 GB of memory. Let's keep everything as it is. You don't have to change any of that. You just need to say create. So it will start creating your big data cluster. 
ओके सो इट इज शोइंग मी दैट आई हैव नॉट एनेबल्ड माय डेटा प्रॉक एपीआईज सो इट माइट अपीयर ऑन योर स्क्रीन एज वेल बिकॉज टू यूज द डेटा प्रॉक एपीआईज वी मस्ट एनेबल दोज एपीआईज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट दिस एरर मैसेज पेस्ट इट हेयर एंड इन दिस यू विल फाइंड अ एनेबल बटन हेयर सो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस एनेबल बटन and once you enabled your data proc apis then you will be then you will be allowed to create your data proc cluster so now my data proc api is enabled let me go back to the same screen let me now create this cluster one more time so my cluster is going to start it may take some time so i'll pause this video and i'll come back when my cluster will be up and running so sometimes it doesn't get refreshed to try to reload your page from here so my big data cluster is now up and running so i select on this cluster so this is my monitoring dashboard where i will see all the information about my yarn uh, cluster manager like cpu utilization etc and in the vm instances i can see one vm machine that is my master machine so in this case i have just used one machine in which all my master and the workers will be running on the same machines so if i wanted to connect to this machine i just have to click this ssh and it will get connected to this master machine so first of all let me check my htfs command i'll say htfs dfs hyphen ls so let's see if there is some directory under my htfs root so you could see my htfs commands is running fine let's go and open the spark shell so i'll say spark shell so if you are working with python you just have to type py spark here rather than the spark hyphen shell so in the exam you will be working on a terminal like this only uh like you will be opening your spark shell and you will be running your solutions on the spark shell directly no ide will be provided okay so here you could see the spark version is 2.4.7 that is apt for our exam preparation so my spark and hadoop is running and let me check my hive also if hive is running here or not so i'll say hive you can connect to your hive using the beeline shell also but here i am just using the hive command directly so my hive is also been connected so i am able to use uh, all the required so i am able to so i am able to use htfs spark so so my spark so my big data cluster setup is now completed in the next lecture we will do some data setup that will be required throughout this course So stay tuned let me see you in the next lecture Welcome everyone in this lecture we are going to set up our data you need to follow this process like you have to create a bucket in Google Cloud you have to upload your data into that bucket then you have to install the GCS fuse plugin using which you will mount your Google bucket onto your virtual machine and finally you will load the data into your htfs so we will go through this process one by one it sounds complicated but it is very simple so let's get started and let me show you how to do that so first of all go to your google cloud click on this navigation menu scroll down under the storage you will see the storage here click on the browser Once you click on the browser you have to press create bucket give any name to your bucket just keep that in mind that your bucket name should be unique okay just keep all the setting as it is and then just press on create bucket so my bucket is now created the next thing is so once you create your google bucket you have to upload the files and the folders that I have provided you in the resources. So go to your resources of this lecture and download the data from there. And once you download and extract the files, you just have to say upload files, okay? And in the upload files, just select all these files and say open. So all the files will be uploaded here and there are few folders also in that particular resources so just say upload folder select these two folder one by one and then say upload 
so it may take one to two minutes once so once these files have been uploaded on your google pocket now we have to mount these files onto a virtual machine using the gcs fuse plugin so now both of my step create the gcs bucket and upload the data has been completed now i have to go to my vm instance and then install this gcs fuse so i have provided all the steps to do this installation in the in the resources so download the cluster setup.txt file and you will be able to find all the steps that i'm doing here okay so go back to your google cloud platform click on this navigation menu and and under your big data you can go to your cluster again if it will be better if you can pin this because you might have to go to this again and again so I have pinned this data pro cluster so I can find that now on the top of this navigation menu now click on this clusters click on your cluster that you just spawned and inside this VM instances connect to this VM instances click on this SSH tab and now here you have to install your GCS fuse plugin and you have to mount your Google bucket in which you just uploaded all your data okay so this is the cluster setup file that i will be providing you in the resources just copy paste all these steps to install the gcs fuse just copy paste all these steps and it will ask you do you want to continue say yes and this will install the gcs fuse on your vm instance so my gcs fuse is now installed so now the second step is to make a directory and then use the GCS fuse to mount the data from this particular bucket to this particular directory in your VM machine. So let's try that. So first of all, let me clear this screen. Okay, I'm going to make a directory called as spark hyphen data. Then I'm saying GCS fuse, my bucket name and then this directory name. So let me copy paste this also just use the control V to copy paste the command. So can you see my bucket has been mounted. So let me go to this directory and see what files are coming here. So let me say ls command here. You will be able to see all of you all of the files that we have uploaded into our GCS bucket. Now my both install GCS fuse in mount bucket step has been done. The last step that we have to do is to load this data into HDFS because the data is still in our local file system on our virtual machine and we are going to work from the HDFS path while doing our Spark programs. So the last step is to load the data into HDFS. So let's do that as well. So first of all, let's make a directory into the HDFS where I can push all my data. So I'm going to say HDFS DFS hyphen M make directory command. And inside HDFS, I'm going to make a directory called as user hyphen spark hyphen data set. So my HDFS directory is now created. The next step is I wanted to put all the files that are under my spark hyphen data directory. Okay, into this HDFS directory. So all my files is now push to HDFS. Let me see what is the content of this HDFS directory now. So can you see all my files has been copied from my local file systems to my HDFS file system. 